Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, when I laid my eyes on this racket for the first time months ago, I said to my buddy Dan, not Dan, not Dan the science man, but Dan who runs Pro Kenix, and I was like, man, I really want to try this racket out. Well, finally getting the shot. Finally. Stay tuned. All right, coffee sponsor of today is Andrea Rizzini. Andrea Rizzini writes, I'm a big fan of your videos. I find I can get more information from 30 minute video than months of reading the internet. <laughs> All right, best regards, keep up the good work. All right, well, thank you so, so much. Um, I don't think my videos are that long. Maybe you're watching a few of them, but I appreciate it. If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. You want to just hook up the channel and appreciate me that way. Super thanks is the way. Link is below. Thank you so, so much. All right. So when I first saw the Pro Kenix line, this was the racket I really wanted to try. This particular racket is endorsed by Andreas Seppi, and it's called the K1Q Plus Tor Pro with the Kinetic technology. And, oh, interesting. It's got O1 in there. I wonder if it only has one gram of kinetic mass, which has never really been done before. Uh, oh, shoot. That's, whew. okay, because usually it's 5, 10, and 15. So one gram, hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, so some of the features and benefits of this great racket, I'm just kind of in awe with the racket right now still. So we have the 315 version. The balance is 310. This is all unstrung, guys. 295 on the swing weight, which means it comes through quick. 62, flexible. 19 millimeters straight beam, flexible. 16, 19 string pattern. 98 on the head size. All this tells me that it's a control racket. This particular racket does come in a 300 version, lighter, and a heavier version at 325. Um, it is a box beam. You feel the squares. So traditional. When it's a box beam, it's going to flex more. I like the way it feels in my hand versus the rounded off because it kind of just sits well with my fingers there and my finger there, my, my thumb there. It just kind of, it's what I'm used to, you know. Um, yeah, Pro Kinex, Kinetic. Not sand, guys, Kinetic Mass. All right, excited to go try it? Let's go. Hey, Coach Rob, guess what time it is? Time to play some tennis. Uh-huh. Checking my ProTech watch here, and it is that time. Is it tennis time? It is tennis time. That's a nice watch. Thank you. ProTech is the sponsor of my watch and our time to play tennis. So let's get into the Seppi racket here. All right. K1 Q Plus Tour Pro. Made by? ProKenex. ProKenex. With kinetic technology in it. Sand. Right. Coach Rob, let me just um, let me just correct you there. It's not sand.
it's kinetic mass. Oh, sorry. Sounded like saying <laughs> Also known as lead granules. Ooh. What do they call those? Mariachis? Oh, yeah. Yeah, mariachis. Okay. Yeah, shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your racket. Okay. <laughs> What'd you think of that racket? I like this one. Felt good. Um, I didn't hear the sand or the... I didn't hear your magic while I was hitting, which was good because I kind of thought that might, I think one of the old ones, it had it everywhere. And so you could kind of hear it when you hit it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but this one felt good. Um, sweet spot was big. Uh, ball jumped off the racket. Um, the weight was good. Um, I love the, the holding it here, the thin beam. Yep. That felt great. And um, yeah, it was a good stick. A little surprised. Did you I feel my Mm, not too much. Okay. Not too much. That, I didn't miss hit too many, so that helped. Um, then it's doing its job. Right. So here's the thing about this racket. Four quadrants with the kinetic uh, mass. Here, these two, and these two. So 10 and 2, 4 and 8. Plus, to protect your arm even more, there's wow. one down there. Right. Okay. So the chambers are here, 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 and here, half filled with kinetic mass, AKA lead granules. And so do you understand the technology? Um, I kind of remember what it was about back in the day, but okay. that was like, what, 25 years ago? 30. 30, sorry. When it first came when out. When it first came out, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so each one of the chambers is half filled with the kinetic mass. Right. When when you bring the ragged back, they all kind of just become back there. When you come forward with them, they're still in the back, still in the back. At impact, the kinetic mass explodes forward into the ball. Okay. So all the <clears throat> lead granules, the kinetic mass goes in and explodes at impact, therefore causing the four quadrants to expand the sweet spot. Cool. Did it also, does it also absorb some of the shock? Wasn't so, that kind of what it was back in the day supposed to do? Correct, so when the ball releases and then explodes forward, what happens after it explodes forward is it goes shake, 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 therefore causing the frame not to vibrate. Hmm. Okay. That's what the whole technology is about. Interesting. Yeah. Good and know. it definitely worked. It definitely worked. Um, I felt like this felt really good. Yeah, it felt good. <laughs> I was pretty shocked that um, definitely a control stick, guys. Uh, this racket is endorsed by Seppi. Uh, there is a 300 version of this, which is lighter. There is a 325 version of this, which is heavier. This is a 315 version of it. Um, with I think perfect balance, it didn't need anything like to nope. customize it. Nope. It was perfect the way it is. 98 on that head, 19 millimeters on that beam. Um, I it probably felt better than anything I've ever used in this category. I mean, I know you're gonna say some kind of Wilson, but it, it might be a close second, right? It's in the discussion, right? Okay, yeah. for Rob to even say that, that's, a, that's pretty huge. I mean, you know, comparatively speaking, it's got similarities to some of those mm -hmm. other Wilson rackets, the Pro Staff, the blade kind of shape. Right. Um, the beam. The beam, the exactly. Beam. And then the box beam, too. Right. So that's for more flex. Right. But thank you, Coach Rob. We're sure. going to continue to test this racket and, uh, and see what everybody else says about it, too. But totally impressed by it right now. Yep. Well done, Pro Chemics. Yeah. Stay tuned. All right, Coach Jared, you have been suffering wrist issues for a while. So I decided to bring you out Prokinex. This particular racket is the Seppi endorsed racket. Is so, he still on tour? 
I don't know, but he's endorsing this racket. Okay. <laughs> that works, too. That works, too. Whether okay. he's not or not, but his name is on it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know if he plays with it, but close <laughs> enough. Uh, anyways, Giuseppe endorsed uh, O Plus Tour 01 Kinetic Pro. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you know, have you heard of Kine Pro Kinex before, right? Yes, that was, so you had me play test a Pro Kinex racket, and then that's also the history with their pure drive models. Right, that was way back in the day. Yeah. Now, yeah. have you heard of the kinetic technology, though? No, I think I've heard of kinetic, you know, forces and stuff before, but I'm not too familiar with the whole kinetic technology. So I know you were mentioning some stuff about this racket, so that I'm, I'm not too familiar with. Shake the racket. Sand. There's some loose stuff in it. Sounds like sand. Yeah. At least yeah. it's not a grommet, okay? Yeah. Or string. <laughs> or True. something that somebody screwed up. Okay? True. True. So this is on purpose. Okay. okay. So, nice. So since you were complaining about your wrist, the kinetic technology will help with your extremities, your hand, your wrist, your elbow, your shoulder. Mm -hmm. There, There are chambers in this racket half filled with kinetic mass, mm -hmm. lead granules, sand as everybody calls it. Mm -hmm. uh, what it does is with those chambers, they're half filled with the kinetic mass. What happens is when you pull your racket back, they all kind of get loaded into the back of each of the chambers. When you come forward, they're still in the back. Yep. Yep. At impact, they all kind of explode into the ball. Therefore, making the racket like a big sweet spot. So it extends out to wherever the chambers are. And there are four, four major like quadrants here that yeah. have that kinetic mass. One, two, three, four. And you guys can't really see it on the video, but there are some slight bumps in the frame. So I'm assuming that's where they put. Right. This, okay. So they okay. thickened it up there. That's towards Jared noticed it more than I did. There are little, they're a little thicker in this part this way, mm -hmm. not this way. So that's, I'm guessing that's where the chambers are. So the four quadrants actually help to stabilize this racket because that's where the uh, balance points are in the head. Yeah. So, yeah. but when you hit with it, what did you think? Yeah, I mean, I definitely agree with you in the sense that Pro Kenix was gravitating towards a softer frame. Um, I will say, I do play with the dampener, so obviously that does dampen the, um, the shot itself, but these are actually pretty soft rackets. I will say that. Um, yeah, definitely wasn't aware of the sandish kinetic lead or whatever you were talking about that was in the racket. I kind of noticed it more at the net when I was like hitting volleys and stuff. And I asked her, I was like, hey, Harry, is there something in the racket? And Harry's like, yeah, yeah, shake it. And I was like, oh, there's some, there's some sand and stuff. Um, but yeah, if, uh, Seppi is the one endorsing this frame, um, going into the play test, I was kind of assuming that, you know, it's a heavy style racket with a lot of mass in it, which is correct. This thing is roughly 11, 8, 11, 9 strung. Mm -hmm. So definitely a lot to swing. Um, definitely very headlight. Uh, traditionally, I don't gravitate towards headlight rackets because I do like it when the racket kind of helps me swing through the racket. First, kind of, kind of, sorry, swing through the shot. Mm -hmm. um, so in this play test, I did struggle a little bit in the beginning, mostly because I wasn't really used to the way that the racket swung. Mm -hmm. But as the play test went on, I do feel like this racket definitely did offer, um, you know, slightly more power than traditional 98 square inch rackets. Um, the first thing too is this also looks very similar to a blade. So you can kind of think of this as like a blade pro in a sense, or mm -hmm. like, I guess their pro style frame if they right. made one. Um, but yeah, interesting play test overall, definitely a really big sweet spot on the racket. Um, any off center shots wasn't too jarring on the wrist or too jarring on, on the arm. And, um, yeah, I think I would probably play around the weight and add some stuff towards the top of it just to add a little bit more head weight and kind of get the ball through the court. Um, but other than that, I think it was a pretty fun play test and Pro Kenix is uh, definitely a brand I don't try these days. So right. we need to know more about Pro Kenix. I yeah. Think. yeah. Um, I think with two layers of head tape, we, we get you right at your, uh, <laughs> yeah, sweet your respect there. There you go. There you go. Head tape, guys. <laughs> All right. Coach Jared. So I, I surprisingly like this racket, especially hitting with you. You gave me a nice ball to hit and mm -hmm. I actually struck it. You were actually surprised at how, um, what did you say? Heavy the ball was coming? Yeah, guys, so a lot of Harry's <laughs> forehands kind of go all over the place and have a lot of spin. But with this with this racket, his shot was actually coming through the court pretty well, which is definitely a surprise. So I credit the racket. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because it ain't me. So 
So it's it's easy to plow for me. I love these rackets because they they plow through and they finish up for me. Even though it's headlight, mm -hmm. um, I I wouldn't. I, I maybe later on down the road once I get used to it, but I probably wouldn't add any weight to it right now. Um, Surprising. But, yeah. You usually customize your rackets I, a lot. I said right now. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Keyword right now. Right now. Gotcha. But yeah, I, I, this is the second time I hit with this racket, and um, both times people were like, it's a good racket. So I guess it's a good racket right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Coach Jared, for hanging out with me today and testing out the Pro Kenex Seppi racket. Mm -hmm. um, where can they find you, Coach? You guys can find me on Instagram at Ma Tennis. All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Yo, where are you? It's wet. What, what are you talking about? It's wet. It's barely wet out here. You, it's rain. What? It's not even raining. Come on, man. Let's get some tennis in, dude. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Fine. Jesus, it's not even raining. Okay. All right. We'll try again another day. <sighs> Do you want a partner who's reliable, who'll play with you no matter what condition? Player Court is the place. They got over 27,000 people who will play with you. Check out playercourt.com forward slash tennis spin and find your perfect partner.